So it's time to head back down into the Underdust suburbs that I found last time. And just, honestly, it proved to be so much that it needed its own video because it's such a large new place. Toxic zone. Uh, let's see, I've gone down that way. I've gone that way. Let's look around this side for a moment. It sounds like I'm walking on like wood flooring from the echoing sound of this as opposed to, you know, walking along a vine or tree trunk. And another crusty peed. Means that there's one somewhere right around here too, right? Uh, I said, oh, and I, I made it back around the front side. Is this the front? Yes. Okay. So I went all the way around that side. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sneak in on this side and get the mantis poop from you. Because I don't want to have to waste another hypothermia thing on you. So coming around the back, I get straight out onto this, you know, overpass. Siberian, we got a ladder. I'm gonna climb the ladder. And just see if I can find something useful here. There's, there's ah, well that that's kind of useful. Boom, another ladder. That at least gives me a shortcut back up. And we got this field research site number three. Okay. Ooh, porta potties. Uh non-functional toilet. I mean, technically, uh, I mean, to a degree, it probably still functions, at least somewhat. Okay, so a spot where I may actually have to uh, use the hypothermia booster. Uh, also, I see that. I wonder if there's another way up, uh, other than my oxygen is getting low. I still haven't found that. Oh, maybe this is it. The, um, oh, crystal battery. Okay, I brought the wrong battery type for this. Field research site number two. Okay. So it seems like it's all being concentrated around this little area right over here where I was at. And yep, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more honey. There we go. All right, oxygen is taken care of now. Uh, I still, that's right, I need to make the air cutter so I can cut some of these things. I, I'm pretty sure I could probably reach in there and get that realistically but it's not gonna let me do that you see how much more this is all about vegetation and of course that's air cutter too i mean the other under dust was you know some vegetation but mostly metal uh you know facility type stuff this is more open you know the other one's more like we're in that this is more like we're in the outside area and where was that? Uh, uh, there it is. Ooh, uh, another research site four. Okay, I'm grabbing all the dust daisies I can. Oh, thick creep. Oh, okay. I, I was about to say like. Oh, yeah, I can cut these. Okay. Uh, cut, cut, cut. So let me say, the pathing in this is not the best. I have repeatedly been unable to get. Up from one point to another uh, to uh, where I should be able to walk and instead end up falling and getting injured and uh, it's with this update and the new areas that I'm having that problem it's none of the other areas not the ones that were already in the game it's the new areas yep getting stuck repeatedly just all over the place. You know what? Oh, I can scan the... Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, I don't have to go and like actually fight a mantis. Air cutter and upgrade station. Knife and five. Chitin. I gotta find some mantis pieces. And I remember there was some along the highway. I just don't know which direction along the highway. Ooh, yeah, can we get this one? The full corpse. I would think the full corpse should count for a lot of chitin. Yes. Uh, okay, I'm tired. I'm tired of smacking you with a knife. 
Uh, really? Okay, so it doesn't go away. You don't clear the whole thing, but you can keep... You, you don't get to keep smacking it for resources. I'm uh, kind of expecting it to, you know, kind of despawn after you took all, so much from it. Upgrade to air cutter. Air cutter. Lightsaber butter knife. Right. That's what it is. It, it, it looks almost like it's glass. Basically. Like, uh, what's the blades in Halo? You know, that the, the arbiters use. Interesting sound effect for it. All right, that's out of the way. I'm going to sneak in. Don't need to bypass you. I guess, though, technically, I, I could just do it that way. I guess that's like the, the easy way out. Uh, get If you don't want to get the air cutter or can't get the air cutter. Uh, of course, they seem to be trapping me in here. Oh, got big water container. Large water tank. Okay, so I got something new. And there's actually nothing like in these containers. So that, that's it. That's all. Oh, there's something up there, but my oxygen level is getting too low. I'm going to go get some oxygen. I'm going to say, yep. Okay, so it's on that side. So obviously I was supposed to be able to climb up there somehow or get to there somehow. Uh, again, keeping the old flashlight in the game and then you uh, have to like you upgrade to a more capable, brighter flashlight would have made more sense. Um, okay, so I get back in this way. I guess if I fall off of the roof. That's, that's the door there. How do I get to that one and unlock it? Uh, you know what? There we go. Yeah, just shoot the door open. Uh, surely that helps me with something. Okay, it gives me this. Walkway here. Jump to here. A ladder. I said, I knew there had to be something else going, especially with glowy stuff. Out of touch. Uh, attempted to create an outpost under the smog. Okay. But obviously, that didn't work. Ooh. Uh, look at that. Found some uh, green colander and got some seeds. Oh, another. Found another oxygen spot. Okay. So there are two, at least in this one. Crusty peed. Take that. And we're going to get some chitin. Right? Right? Come on. I, I, what? I saw the... Okay, so there's a targeting issue on this one. Apparently, that part, despite appearing exposed, was actually considered in the, the terrain. Fortunately, this one is... Now that I'm getting accustomed to the layout, this is not far from that little area that I saw a mantis before. Nice bit of light. Like right here, I'm in the spotlight. Yes, and oh, okay. Yeah. There we go, finally. It changes the speed that you swing the knife each time. Ooh, get me some more mantis gland. Look at this. I guess now I got the air cutter. Does that mean I can chop up the mantis bodies I find in the regular underdust? Sleeping lily seed. Ah, oh, okay, that's new. Maybe that's the uh, fancy. Uh, 
uh, thing. Oh yeah, okay, so the medicine went away. Yep, there we go. I got it. It was a little delayed on that. I'm not sure how to get in there. Or in that one. Do I still have a battery? Oh, yes, I got a battery. Ooh. Is that like just a... Maybe that's for the future. They're going to add something on these. And that's just like a barrier to keep you out of there for right now. Oh, interesting. So we got some kind of thing moving down there. Some machinery. But we got this. We can't get down there right now. Okay. It's like one of the things that was down there. Old alternator. Oh, knife and crossbow. So, uh... Okay, I need oxygen. Yeah, some of these you can literally just walk around on a certain side and it's fine. You don't have to worry about it, uh, which is kind of broken in a way. Uh, but I also appreciate it that I don't have to worry about giving myself hypothermia that much. Ooh. See some first aid kits. And since I've fallen a couple of times and taken in uh, incorrect damage because of terrain problems, I'm going to take them. Uh, extract because, yeah, it's blocking a uh, broken thing. We got a uh, few things. Ooh, he did not get the medical treatment he was supposed to get. Yeah, get get it because it's an ambulance oh finally found some of this that I can break oh wow okay I, I saw it right there at the end right before it breaks it gives a take uh, option like I can click E to take and then it goes away because it you know I, I automatically take it I guess so it just says water tank instead of large water tank. Uh, and it only requires one epoxy to research that. And then I have the distiller, which says to get the dust fertilizer. Right, I get to use some mantis feces because apparently mantis feces are so abundant down there. So the water tank actually takes the small water tank and upgrades it. So, all right. That's kind of nice. You don't end up with stuff you don't need by like, oh, I put down a small water tank. Now I need the large one. Of course, not a lot of dirty water in there. So it's interesting. It now says 0% health on this when I target specifically that. Uh, why would that be 0% health? Uh, okay, you know what? Whatever. Uh, mantis feces and biomass. Distiller. We're going to make five dust fertilizer. And again, nice little animation there. Goes in there, does something. Apparently, distill fertilizer into here. Requires a bottle, okay. So the icon showing the bottle doesn't matter. It still requires a bottle. Let's, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna go with the big bottle. I got a big bottle over here. There we go. I'm gonna make a bunch more large bottles so Drinking bottle wait, wait. oh okay for some reason it bottled four of the dust fertilizer instead of five when i did that uh which is interesting that it's like oh no you're gonna get four of these not all five it's telling me i have to use the dust fertilizer to grow sleeping lily seeds in the big garden pot which I don't have so that's gonna have to wait till I could go and stumble across it somewhere and upgrade that thing I'm gonna work on clearing out the dirty water upgrade this thing uh go ahead and make some more dust fertilizers just so I have it make use of some of the mantis poop and everything but yeah that's the new under dust suburban area and some of the new stuff for the new update honestly it, it feels more and more like I mean, it's definitely a passive game right now. You don't have any major enemies other than the little creatures that are stationary and attack you. You're not doing, like, first-person shooter-type combat. So it's a good game if you're looking for that sort of relaxing gameplay. But, you know, sometimes uh, 
You just want a little bit of action.